What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna answer a question uh, from one of the guys in the community, uh, Robert, sorry, S Stephen Ford. Okay, so the question that Stephen Ford had was that he has uh, two injured rotator cuffs, right? On both his shoulders. And of course they're stiff. And the question is, uh, is this gonna prevent him from practicing judo and being competitive and competing and all that? And um, here's the answer. Yes, but that being said, okay, it doesn't mean you can't do judo. It just means that you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful and also you're gonna have to rehab those shoulders, okay? So I have the same issues. My, my left, uh, sorry, my right side here, I have uh, uh, a tear, a, a muscle tear. Not a big one, but still, I have a tear there uh, in my rotator cuff muscles, right? The rotator cuff has uh, three, four muscles in the back here, small little muscles that, you know, help you rotate and do all kinds of stuff with your shoulder. So if you uh, have those that are damaged, okay, then it's definitely gonna affect your judo. Um, because in judo, there's a lot of pulling, right? So you're pulling the guy a lot, but also the guy is pulling on your arm, and then when he attacks your arm, he always goes underneath. So it's, it's bang, it's banging it up and pulling it this way, right? So it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be an issue. Um, so here's the thing. When you have shoulder issues, right? Like a lot of guys, uh, you know, I'm 41, so <clears throat> I've accumulate, accumulated a lot of injuries uh, throughout my, uh, my grappling career, well, career, uh, you know, since I started practicing in, in jiu-jitsu uh, for about six years, and then I've been, I'm in, in judo now for five, and man, judo is really rough on the shoulder. So, what can you do? Well, <clears throat> I spoke to my physio, right? Because I have a physio that I train and he treats me, uh, you know, we barter. So essentially he treats me and I train him, right? <laughs> so the thing with the shoulder is that there's only a couple of things that you can do, right? And mind you, it's always going to be an issue because when you, when you lift weights, to, uh, to build up your muscles and you work on your mobility, right? I mean, you can get back, it's to, it's to balance out your musculature. But as long as you're practicing some kind of competitive contact sport or sport, okay, it's relative balance. So you'll never achieve 100% balance in your musculature so that you know, you're, you're okay and that there's no pain and all that. You're gonna have to, it's something that you have to accept that you'll always have some kind of injury, a nagging injury, nagging pain, and the, the way to bypass this well, is to, well not to bypass, but to compensate so that you're still able to perform is to do a shit ton, a shit ton of weights, of resistance training. So you gotta work out your shoulders like mad. But now, before working out your shoulders, there's other things that you have to do too, right? You have to actually if you have mobility issues, you really have to address that. You have to address your mobility issues first, right? And then from there, you have to work on getting those rotator cuff muscles really strong and all the scapular muscles and all that. So I just wanted to throw that, make this video quick, quick for you, uh, Steven, right? And after that, I'm gonna head, I have to head down to the gym anyway to film some videos uh, for some clients. So while I'm there, I'm gonna show you the exercises that I do personally and that I would recommend, okay? Because I have the same issues. I have shoulders issue uh, mostly on my right side, but my left, uh, my left side too is starting to feel it. I have calcification, uh, scar tissue, uh, rotator tough tear and, and mobility issues, all kinds of stuff, you know? Like everything that, uh, that you could, um, that, that most people get when they do, when they do you know, judo. Right, because judo is hard, hard on the joints, man. The shoulders, the knees, and the back. But uh, the back is really because you're getting slammed and twisted all the time in in, in in the mid in mid air, you know. So when I get to the gym, I'll show you what you have to do, the exercises that I do that I recommend. Right now, this of course I'm not a doctor, right? I'm just a guy who trains a lot and who's been to physio a lot and and been to rehab and had surgery and. Da, 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 da. So I do have a little bit of experience uh, regarding this, but there is no way around it in the sense that um, you'll never achieve perfect balance, muscular, mu muscular balance. So you have to balance it out. It's relative balance, but as long as you're practicing a sport 
uh, that's damaging to you know your shoulders, your joints, and all that. Well, I mean, the best you could do is well, really, you have to ask yourself if it's something that you wanna that you're willing to accept, right? But then once you accept that, now it doesn't mean that you just sit there and just let it uh, keep getting damaged as you go along, right? As you train in, in, in judo or any any sport, it's just that it'll never be a hundred percent. That's for sure, right? But with a lot of effort, a lot of mobility work, right, and a lot of uh, lifting weights and getting super super strong and 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 get those getting those muscles bigger and stronger and all that, it's definitely gonna help. And of course, you might have to train uh, a little bit more conservatively, smart, not meathead style, not you know like if you're if you're older like I am, right then you're not gonna be training, uh, you know, five, six sessions a week doing super hard sparrings, you know? Once again, it depends what your goals are. If your goal is to be competitive, then you have to address these issues, okay? So I'll show you at the gym afterwards, I'll film some videos, I'll, I'll show you what exercises that I recommend doing and that I do, and uh, hopefully that helps. But, so definitely it's, it's going to affect how you perform in judo if you don't address these issues, right? Once you, once you accept that, Injury is part of the game. Relative balance, that's the most you could hope for, even through mobility work and strength training. Then after that, then you, you work on these, you work on your joints, you work on your issues, and then from there, um, I feel as though, yeah, you definitely can still be competitive because I'm, I'm still competing and I got a bunch of injuries, you know, but you have to learn how to manage your injuries properly. So that's what I suggest. And uh, in the next video, okay, as soon as I film that video, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put this one up first, uh, just so that you get uh, get my two cents on it. And then, yeah, the other one's gonna come up. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe, uh, share the video, it helps me grow. And appreciate all of you guys. You guys have been commenting a lot and stuff like that. And a lot of you guys have been inviting me down to uh, down to the States, down to where you guys train, all over the, even, even, even a couple of places like overseas and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely interested in traveling and training with, uh, with all of you guys in the community. And if you guys ever in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, okay, let me know. Okay, so follow me on IG. It's easier uh, to, to, to get a hold of me on IG. And uh, IG meaning Instagram. And then yeah, we'll hook up here, we'll train, we'll go, we'll go to the gym, we'll go to the, uh, the judo clubs, the jiu-jitsu clubs, you know, I know like all the clubs here anyway, anyway, so we'll have some fun. And that's my dream. So if I grow this channel enough, I'll be able, I'll be the traveling martial artist who just films this stuff and talks about this all day long. And um, what was I gonna say again? Oh, 2021, that's when I get my pardon, right? Cause well, I got into a little bit of trouble when I was younger. <laughs> Uh, a lot of trouble actually. So 2021, once I get my part in, I'll definitely shooting down to the States and uh, hang out with you guys and uh, training and, and doing all kinds of stuff, even competing and stuff because that's what I love to do. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate all the support, all the comments. It's, it's great. I mean, man, uh, the subscriber count actually went up pretty, 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 uh, well, it's relative, right? I'm new to this, so it went up a lot, like in the past uh, in the past month, man. So I'm I'm really really happy and excited about that. It's actually very encouraging. So thank you very much for all the guys uh, who comment, who support, and even the guys who put funny comments. It's okay. It's all good, man. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.